everyone, I'm Anshul Sharma, your educator. In this video, we are going to talk about an Indian poet and we are going to discuss about Aga Shahid Ali. So this picture in front of you is of Aga Shahid Ali. Aga Shahid Ali was born in Delhi and then later he uh, lived for a longer period of time in Kashmir and then he shifted uh, to USA. So, and to the United States. So, let us read Aga Shahid Ali, who was born on 4th February 1949, lived till 8th December 2001. He was an Indian-born poet of Afghan and Indian descent who immigrated to United States and became affiliated with a very important literary movement known as the new formalism in American poetry. He was someone who has written a lot of poems. All of his poems are important, but the most important collections are A Walk Through the Yellow Pages, The Half Inch Himalayas, A Nostalgious Map of America, The Country Without a Post Office, and Rooms Are Never Finished. The latter that is, the rooms are never finished, also was finalized for the National Award in 2001. So, Aga Shahid Ali, as I told you, was born in Delhi in a Kashmiri family and for a major part of his life, he lived in Kashmir. Hence, you see that there is shifting of places and then he went to United States. This means that his whole life he has been traveling and the theme of nostalgia becomes very important. He is writing what is called as the poetry of witness and he writes about the pain and the suffering that he has seen related to his family members who lived in the trauma, con traumatic conditions that were happening in Kashmir. So he writes the poetry, he writes the poetry of nostalgia, he writes the poetry of witness. He sees whatever he sees, he is going to pen it down and it becomes the poetry of witness. It becomes a poetry of pain and longing and you see that there is the touch of suffering. He was born in a family which is of a multicultural family. So you will see that there is the Urdu culture and the English culture or the Hindi, you know, Hindu, Hindu culture that are all amalgamated in one. Hence, you'll see that his literary form are very different than the other poets. So let us study uh, something more about Aga Shahid Ali. So Aga Shahid Ali expressed his love and his concern for his people in the collection in memory of Begum Akhtar. It was seen that he was very much inspired by Begum Akhtar. He's very much inspired by the different ghazals and he also wrote a lot of ghazals as well. And there's one anecdote that I want to share, I read somewhere, that he was very poor and he had no money during the time your, the Begum Akhtar was uh, you know, at her, you know, in a, during the, at the verge of dying. So the funeral procession was going on and he desperately wanted to go and visit the procession because he was very much attached and inspired to Begum Akhtar. So he had to take help of his friends and near 400 rupees were given to him and he had to repay and his whole life he had been poor. You know, in that initial period, he was very poor. So he had to take money from his friend and he could not even arrange this 400 rupees to go. But he somehow managed to do that and he went to the funeral procession of Begum Akhtar. So he was that much attached. So he wrote this poem also in memory of Begum Akhtar. He has also written a very brilliant poem, The Country Without the Post Office, which talks about the suffering of his very own homeland, that is Kashmir. And Kashmir conflict was the drawback of this, uh, you know, was, uh, of this poem. So you'll find the theme of nostalgia, the theme of memory, the theme of love, loneliness, belonging, and the theme of concern, love, aspirations are all dealt in the poetry of Aga Shahid Ali. So he was the translator of the Urdu poet, a very important poet whose name is Faiz Ahmad Faiz, and he, re and he uh, translates the rebel salute selected poems and he was also the editor of the Middle East and the Central Asia segment of Jeffrey Payne's Poetry of Our World, something you should also know. He also compiled the volume Ravishing Disunities, Real Guzzles in English. His last book was called as Call Me Ishmael Tonight, a collection of English guzzles. 
so his interest for ghazals is also too high and he has written and has collected ghazals as well and his poems are featured in the american alphabets contemporary poets that came out in 2006 he has also written the other anthologies but these being the most important ones you should know so we have seen that ali is not only writing about the past he is not only writing about the uh, memory but he is also writing about the nostalgic feeling about his homeland about kashmir at the backdrop of kashmir conflict the deaths that he has associated the diasporic themes are all dealt with it he has also written different ghazals because he was inspired by those as well and he has also translated the works of urdu poet faiz ahmed faiz so although the canvas of aga shahid ali is too vast and looking at all the poetries are important but down the line we will be looking at the few uh, collections few volumes and few most important themes and poems in it that can be asked in the paper so although the canvas of aga shahid ali of poetry is very vast and it covers a varied range of subjects the major part of aga shahid ali's poetry falls under the category of poetry of witness so he is writing the poetry of witness whatever he witnesses he is going to write about it hence it these are all small mundane details small things that he is going to write about and how the common people how his ancestors how his family members are affected by the conflict in kashmir or by the nostalgic feeling that he has Agar Shahid Ali sees a similar style in some of his witness poems particularly related to Kashmir the poems of Ali resemble Kashmir in its drawback Kashmir has been the central locus of his poem or his poetry his poem always denote his concern for his homeland Kashmir or his motherland Kashmir his friends his family members who were living in Kashmir in the crisis that were going on commenting on the openness we have some writers who talked about Aga Shahid Ali and his anthologies and his work so zaid says that Aga Shahid Ali grew up in a family that was culturally very rich it was a multilingual home where urdu and english all coexisted in one simultaneously existed together where jesus and lord krishna are given as much importance spiritually and it is also seen that they are also given reverences and they are paid respect to not only this not only jesus and lord krishna but it is also the teachings of the islam and the islamic culture that were taught to him so if you read you will understand that all his poetries are related and are talking about the love that he has for these multicultural uh, scenarios he is born with uh, he is born in a cultural in such a multilingual home where urdu and english also existed simultaneously and where jesus and lord krishna are paid respect as much as the spiritual thought patterns of the teachings of islam are given reverence to that is why we see all of these small details in his poetry so such cultural patterns are meticulously woven and are seen in this poetry collection in one volume to another memory and the associations are very much seen in all the poetic lines and the reader finds places uh, of all these things in the poetry collections of aga shahid ali he writes a poem called as the dhaka gozes which recollects the memory of his grandmother so if you find a question who talks about which says that which is the poet who talks about his grandmother and the reminiscence of his grandmother and his remembering the grandmother and the recollections of the memory it is none other than the dhaka gozes so this Uh, right you know you can they can ask questions like this you should know about the name of the different anthologies the name of the different volumes also few poetry are important let us see the memory plays a very significant role in the beginning of his poetic work so the poem a butcher is something who that decodes the cultural sentiments and deals with the few moments of memories 
So this is an important poem, a butcher. Ali's idea of enriching the culture of the East and the West is also very visible in the early segment of his poetry. He writes the poem, Homage to Fez Ahmed Fez, and we see that he is juxtaposing and bringing together the two cultures, the culture of the East and the culture of the West, which is very much seen in his poetry, the Homage to Fez Ahmed Fez. The extraordinary quality of his poem is counted on the simple, everyday subjects turned into poetry. So I was telling you, he writes about the mundane structures of the life. He, even the telephonic conversation can be converted into a poetry by Ali. So most of his poems from the volume A Walk Through the Yellow Pages that came out in 1987 is based on children's stories or it is based on a telephonic call or an advertisement or a graffiti art that he has seen on the wall, the language games or of a very small act of an interview. So anything is possible, he can turn anything, a very mundane structure into a poetry. So from this poetry collection, a walk through the yellow pages that came out in 1987, we see that these poetries talk about the mundanest of the simple events of everyday life. These are the subjects of the poetry. In the prologue poem, The Blessed World, from the volume, The Country Without the Post Office, a very important volume, Ali seems to be quoting a word that Emily Dickinson has used. So Emily Dickinson used the word Kashmir and we see that Ali is also taking the use of those, you know, just using those same words in his poem. He borrows the title and he titles his poem, Some Vision of the World Kashmir. And this word is, word is taken from Emily Dickinson's poem on nature. Yeats' famous line that this line is seen in his poetry called as the Easter 1916, a very important line that has already been asked in the paper, now and in time to be, wherever green is worn, a terrible beauty is born, is quoted as an epigraph of Ali's very important poem, I see Kashmir from New Delhi at midnight. So this is the poetry, a very appealing poetry. I see Kashmir from New Delhi at midnight. And Ali uses the line that we see in Yeats' famous poem, uh, the Easter 1916. And this line is used as epigraph. Right. So these two things become important. You should remember that he has borrowed the title from Emily Dickinson's work and the title is Some Vision of the World Kash Kashmir and this is seen in the, uh, this is seen uh, and the prologue poem is also very important, The Blessed World and this is seen in the volume what? The volume is The Country Without a Post Office. Also you see that the Yeats poem Easter 1916 and the line that is written in it is used as an epigraph in the poem I see Kashmir from New Delhi at midnight. Ali's poetry also voices his humanistic concern, his love for Kashmir and through his most celebrated volume, The Country Without the Post Office. This volume, The Country Without the Post Office, talks about his own silenced homeland that once was very beautiful, that once had different cultures living together. But now it become it became somehow it became a very terrible place to stay. So the poem Farewell is beautiful and it is addressing the role of the memory, also the history in and it is going to voice the volume of the silenced homeland. It says that there are shades of pain that it is a place, Kashmir was a place where two religions once lived harmoniously together but now they cannot live together. This is, these are the small things, these are the small details that we find in the poetry of Aga Shahid Ali. So in the poem Hans Christian Oslo, this is a poem that will talk about the diasporic elements. We see that he talks about the concerns that he has seen about the abduction and the death of the 27 year old Norwegian hostage killed by the militants in August 1995. And his diasporic consciousness is revealed and his love is revealed in this poetry collection where he finds uh, he is smashed between two cultures. Now he has shifted to US 
and now he has he is longing for the homeland again many of his poems are titled in the simultaneously art of writing about the two places together so you see that many of his poetry and the name of those poetry are talking about these two cultures and the two places where he used to live so he he himself thinks of uh, someone being a fractured person who is once has an heart in delhi as well as in kashmir and he's longing for both so i see kashmir from new delhi at midnight just look at here we see kashmir as well as delhi so from being in delhi he is still remembering about kashmir i dream i return to tuscon in the monsoon the poet has also stitching together the different tales and these different tales will talk about the different culture and this is very much related and he can do this only because his home was like this so he was born in a multicultural world in a very uh, you know cultural society so hence he can write about the tales of radha krishnan combined with the thumri singers or the legends of the lovers he ranja together he talks about this theme of love aspiring of love love longing as well as loss the communal history of islam and the crucifixion of the jesus are weaved together in sketching with the battle of karbala in the volume rooms are never finished so in the volume rooms are never finished he talks about these two cultures he talks about the history of islam in the making of islam also crucifixion of jesus he will talk about the battle of karbala and how jesus was crucified so twin politics and different histories will come up together in the prologue poem the blessed world a prologue which talks about the rich culture and the layered texture the poems a country without a post office first day of spring a villain a villain are some examples of the form of the villain right so this villain is basically nothing but a french form which comprises of the 19 lines poem so he is also writing the poetry that are comprising of the 19 lines so ali is poem linux hill after the august wedding in lahore pakistan and the whale suit are written in the form of canzone canzone is another style of writing of poem and here you see 65 lines and it is written in five stanzas so he is experimented with different ways of writing he is using the different nostalgic feelings to write so there are different themes and he is experimenting with the art form as well so there are some different poetries that are important and you should know the dates as well so bone sculpture it came out in 1972 in memory of begum akhtar and other poems that is in 1979 we have half a inch himalayas it is important it came out in 1987 a walk through the yellow pages in 1987 a nostalgic map of america in 1991 so these are few poetry collections the beloved witness selected poems came out in 1992 the country without a post office in 1997 the poems are never finished in 2001 and the last book as i was telling you call me smile tonight is a book of guzzles that came out in 2003 so these are the few poetry collections that you should know and you should know some important poems that he's talking about in the in all of these poetry collections the broad themes as we have discussed are nostalgia love longing for love longing for mother motherland longing for the beautiful world where he used to live where there were harmony between the different cultures he will call upon the different stories of radha krishnan he ranja the battle of karbala or it can be the crucifixion of uh, jesus also so he will touch upon all of these themes and it seems as if his poetry is a poetry of fractured person living at two different places longing for the world of love also he is someone who is writing the poetry of witness whatever he will witness he will write about those things so i hope you understood whatever i told you in this poetry collection read uh, in this video also study more about aga shahid ali this would be very helpful if you have any doubt you can write it in the comment section and i will surely reply to you thank you